Good morning, friends. It is a beautiful morning here in Lake Okoboji. Glad you're here. No parking spots for the ATVs at these hotels, but you can park them in the grass or the snow, wherever you want, I guess. This is something I am not used to anymore. The uh, rental car came with one of these. what that is. Just heading back into the hotel to get geared up for the day. I want to show you how cool this, or how warm this outfit is that we were gifted. Now some of us coming from Florida especially, they're not prepared for such winter days like this, but how big these ice fishing pants are for overalls, I guess. These things are so warm, and not only warm, but they float. So if you put them on properly, they have this little thing down here, flaps around, and some other flapping and folding and buttoning and zipping. And you can fall right in the ice and still be okay. Now I don't know if you're gonna stay that warm for that long, but you'll float for a while and you no. Know, these things are heavy duty. You'll survive. I've got toe warmers in my in my toes. Just regular rubber boots, they're not insulated, but I used them at Disney and they kept my feet dry and they're doing the same here. It seems to work okay. So that's what I'm wearing. Got my new Lake Okoboji, well, University of Okoboji hat. And I think we're set. I made my way to frozen Lake Okoboji for the Boji Kite Festival as a part of the University of Okoboji Winter Games. This is gonna be a great time. Friends, I'm really glad you're here to experience some of this kite festival, the Winter Games of <laughs> University of Okoboji. I'm learning more and more about this like every 10 minutes. There's new cool events I just keep finding out about this is a really awesome time. Friends, I'm gonna be filming a lot for my other channel through the rest of today and tomorrow. And I'm gonna be you know, poking over into the Winter Games and showing some highlights of that through the weekend as well. But if you wanna see a full experience, you'll have to see both channels here. Go over to World's Greatest Kiting, check out what I've been putting up there. You'll see a whole lot more. I'm glad you're here and I'll catch up with you in just a little bit. I will show you some things through the through the kite festival. I'm not going to leave you out if you don't already subscribe to my other channel, but I'm going to be focused a lot on that. So sit back, relax, and we'll get to some new adventures here from this beautiful frozen lake in just a little bit. Today is Friday, January 28th, 2022. This empty frozen lake will be filled tomorrow with what they think is 30 to 40,000 people and cars. That's a lot of weight on ice. I, I've never experienced anything like this, but that seems a little crazy to me. I've never been on a snowmobile. Maybe sometime during these winter games, I'll get the opportunity to float around on one. Festival activities are coming to an end. The wind is dying down. The spectators are wandering off and going home. A lot of the kite flyers are getting ready to go 
back to the hotel and rest for tomorrow, wrapping everything up. But this person back here is not wrapping things up. This person in the front end loader is clearing off the ice right here in front of the Arnold's Park roller coaster, one of the oldest wooden roller coasters in the country. Right here tomorrow is going to be the location of the Polar Plunge. The Polar Plunge, where they take all their clothes off down to their skivvies and jump in the cold water. They wait in line for this. Once a year, this happens, and it's right here. They're going to cut a big square in the ice, shove it down under the water, push it to the side to make way for each person to jump right in and run right out. Can't wait to check this out tomorrow. That's crazy. Well, I talked to this guy back here that's clearing the snow off. Yes, in fact, this is where the polar plunge is, and he invited me to stick around and watch him cut the ice. Cool. I cannot wait to see what this is going to be like. These people have got to be outside of their mind to jump into this cold water. Wow. It is only supposed to be about 34, 32 degrees tomorrow, so at least we've got that. I never imagined myself at an event like this. I'm always thinking about Florida locations or places down in you know, the southeast. So do I. <laughs> There's so many cool things going on in this country and in this world. This is an example of something that, well, so unique, different. job to have. This is incredible to watch. Hey, it'll roll over, be careful. Coming this way. Okay, you can do it, keep it moving. This has been a lot of fun to watch. It's a good break from walking around all the kites at the kite festival over there. And they sit there a half hour, they'll be frozen. <laughs> just floating around, relaxing. The, I'll follow you. That's the rule. You get thrown in by time. <laughs> 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 you gotta learn to relax. How I know? You relax, you're comfortable in the suit. 
get the suntan on here. Sunpan? On the face. I thought I saw you dip. No. This is one of the most interesting things that I've gotten myself into for quite some time. <laughs> I would never consider just hanging out in the water like this, but I guess I guess you can. You know, in this suit that I have, you're supposed to be able to do that. Jump in. <laughs> These guys are pretty funny. I've had a chance to talk to some of the people cutting this big hole out of the ice. They were telling me all kinds of things about the festival and talking about the people in line and kind of what to expect tomorrow. I guess it takes about 20 seconds for them to get in the water and finally get out and then they just take off running to wherever they have warmth. There's not like a station or anything. You just got to bring your friends and some blankets, I guess. And to wait in line, sometimes they're waiting 45 minutes to just jump in that cold water and they're waiting with like high heels and costumes and things that aren't very warm. This seems like it's going to be a really fun time tomorrow. I cannot wait to bring you back to this and see what it's really like. Well, I appreciate this whole group of firefighters and especially Jim, Chris, and Cam who took time to talk to me about all the happenings of this cool event. Spent a little bit of time just hanging out here, chit-chatting with everybody. It was very cool. They invited me to come back and they might give us a special up close look at all of the frozen people tomorrow. So look forward to that. Friends, this has been a really fun day out here at the Kite Festival. If you want to see more from this Kite Festival, of course, go over to my other channel, World's Greatest Kiting. I'll put a link to that right up above. I really appreciate you joining me today. If you like what you're seeing here, well, hit like. Leave a comment. I love responding to comments. Hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video tomorrow from right here.